My name is Ratsuni, and welcome back to the Binding Link. Uh, the Binding Classic Afterbirth Plus. It's apparently really difficult to say. Apparently, it's a tongue twister, as far as I'm concerned. Hard mode random. We're going to try and get those delirium kills done. Okay, Magdalene has not killed delirium. Immediately use her pill because it's a speed up, and Magdalene's speed starts at lower than base. But now it is base because we got the speed up. Isn't that cool? And now we have the speed up pill identified, so we can make sure that we can take that throughout the rest of the run. I like it. I like it. Good change, good change. Serpent's Kiss. That's going to be really, really handy. That's going to get us a lot of black hearts while we clear floors. Any enemy that we kill while it is poisoned by Serpent's Kiss has a chance to drop a black heart. It's the huge, huge bonus of having Serpent's Kiss. Obviously, you know, you get a little bit of extra... Uh, see, black heart already. You get a little extra poison damage, yay, but, you know, fucking big deal. The black hearts actually come fast and fucking furious. They're way more important. Uh, I shouldn't have picked up that black heart yet. Because now I'm in a position where I don't really want to go to a curse room. See, I, I would have wanted to play without a bunch. But now I don't. Because I got a black heart I want to protect. See, another black heart already. This is crazy. It's crazy that play. Alright. Whoa! Yeah. I'm not. I'm not okay. Yeah, I'm not okay with this. This room sucks. It's not, you know, badly designed. It just sucks. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like having to dodge too many things at the same time. I'll come back for you later. Damn it! Hey, I did kick it in time. Nice. Thank you for all diving straight into the fire. It's very appreciated. Uh, the, the, the demon's tail, less, uh, sorry, fewer, red heart drops, but non-specific heart drops are more likely to be black hearts. Okay, seems good for me. I do just want to get poison on Larry as often as possible, because poison destroys Larry. It's all of his sections at the same time. It's insane. Oh, apparently you can only poison him if you hit the head. Interesting. Something I never would have known. Oh, Synth Oil. That's a great start to a great run. Let's go get ourselves the uh, health up. And then move down to the next floor. I mean, we're not going to have an arcade. An arcade would be fucking excellent for us uh too many locations for a secret room the only obvious location is not a secret room this is all stellar an arcade would be really really good just for the fact that we have so much red health it would pretty much immediately purchase for us whatever is in the shop curse the lost whatever i don't care thank you for the black heart it's actually too common. This item is incredible. It's especially worth noting that in the in the void fight, Curse of the Black Heart, Curse of the Black Heart, uh, Vor more of the void and Serpent's Kiss both spawn so many black hearts while you're fighting the boss because of the little flies that the boss spawns. You actually end up healing while fighting the Void. The Void! The, the hush! Ryan! Use the correct words. I can't believe this isn't Butterbean, by the way. Look how not Butterbean it is. It's way better than Butterbean. It actually makes Butterbean a little bit of a joke. But Butterbean already was a joke. So it somehow made Butterbean more of a joke. Isn't that incredible? Sure. 
I'll stand there just in case it happened to blow that up and reveal a crawl space. Boss is almost certainly down in this direction. That can reveal secret rooms if I remember correctly. The wait what? Damn it, you're supposed to leave before this scent makes it way uh, makes its way back into damage. Oh well. Makes its way back onto the spikes, right? If you leave while it still has momentum, you come back, it doesn't have any momentum. So you can actually get all of those scents for free. Damn it, that was really bad. Did not need to take that damage at all. Belly button, what's in there? Ability to hold two trinkets. Bag lunch when I take damage. Baby! I'm really digging this run so far. The bag lunch, when you take damage, there is a slight chance to spawn a breakfast. Curse of the blind, great. You know what? I was having fun with this run so far. Fair enough that the run now gives me Curse of the Blind. Get it. This run is already too good. I'm not going to pick up anything from the item room. Too likely that whatever I pick up just fucks up my day. Thank you for the black hearts. Thank you for the black hearts, good lord. Uh, two. Two, what's two do again? Oh, rerolls all consumables on the floor of the room you're currently in. Sure. Blue baby soul. Don't really care. You can see that all of the non-specific heart drops are black hearts right now. That's the effect of the tail. Demon tail that we're holding. Haha! <laughs> so I use that... Uh, oh, that's going to be the virus. I'm fine with that. I used that fart very opportunely there to blow up the rock that had a bomb in it while it was next to Lost, dealing a stupid amount of damage. I'm not going to be able to take that. Let's just try and keep up the clear speed. Alright, fair enough. I'm okay with losing that because I'm gonna end up with more black hearts. Like, I actually have too many black hearts currently on this floor. I can't carry them all. Yeah, there's another black heart for me. Already back in the clear. Another black heart. Too many now. Right, not taking it. Fuck you. I'm not, I'm not doing that to me, game. I like me. Ah, uh, most of the time. Eh, me and myself, we get along occasionally. Take Demon's Tail again. I mostly did that fart just to open up the arena. I really hate fighting when most of your shots miss because they're hit by an obstacle. Oh, nice lock up. Uh, is my range enough to get that? All oh, right, we have synth oil. Okay, cool. We actually have higher than base range, so we should be able to get the shots just far enough. So many black hearts. Ah, uh, serpent's kiss. Damn beautiful. I'll take this because I know what it is. Had to be cube of meat or ball of bandages. There's no other item. Curse the blind again. I get so unlucky with this. I'm, again, not taking anything. I'll take things from deal with the devil because there's no deal with the devil item that I don't want. Uh, 
I think Curse of the Blind is not available by base in the Deal with the Devil room. Anything that's two hearts, I definitely take, because two heart deals with the devil are always, well, pretty much always good. How'd you drop a red heart? I didn't give you permission to do that. I still have Demon's Tail. Did I just map the floor by taking damage? Oh no, I got compass. I got compass from the... Uh... Yeah. The, the, the. You know what I mean. From the mushroom. Sure. Totally forgot that I had the Liberty Cap. You can spawn stone fatties? Because that doesn't seem okay. Because I can't actually remove those. Uh, so if you're in tears, should be able to remove them. I don't know if it can, but it should be able to. That'd be cool as hell. I kind of want to buy everything from the shop, but again, the shop even has things that are fraught with danger for me. And I'm not bricking my run, just on a chance. I don't think there's any mushroom that I wouldn't want. Or any mushroom that can spawn from destroying shrooms that I don't want. Obviously, I want Magic Mushroom. Mini Mush is fine by me. I think those are the only two that can even spawn from it. Not taking it. If we get Curse of the Blind again next floor. Oh, boy. <laughs> the salt. I'm going to be an Angelina Jolie movie about a sleeper agent because I am going to be salt incarnate. I'm going to be a game about sailing on the open ocean because I am going to be salt. I don't need to belabor the point. You get, <laughs> you get where I'm going with this. I'm gonna be sodium chloride, girl. Yo, that was not good. Nothing bad in that pool. Too hard to deal with the devil we take. It's a little brimstone. Alright, we get out of here. We still managed to make ourselves more powerful throughout the course of that floor. I'm quite happy about that. Curse the Labyrinth, that's fine by me, actually. Ah, oh, damn it. What a huge judgment. Okay. If it was a normal judgment, I was actually just going to blow it up. You can have exactly until I have three keys. Okay. I might come back for you. Who knows? That's really good. Solid damage up in Steven. I've got as high tiers as I can have without hitting the cap. This can easily do boss rush. This can easily do... Well, this can easily do boss rush. It can do hush, but it'll suck. Never mind, it's a lot better at doing hush now. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is really good. This is really, really, really good. I'm very glad I made the mature decision and didn't pick up anything that I wasn't 100% certain about on the Curse of the Blind Floors, because really, it might have helped my run, but considering how good my run is, it's far more likely it would have just fucked me. That's a uh, little brimstone plus penetrative shots for you. Okay, I already know where my way out is. That's nice. Oh, wait, I had the compass effect. I should have looked around the rest of the map. Sadly, did not even think about it. I could use a speed up right now, actually. <laughs> Thankfully, I know what the speed up pill looks like, but unfortunately, I don't think I've seen any right now. Okay. Whoa! That was a lot of black hearts. Never mind, I'm fine with it again. Whee! Okay. Beautiful. That's not the speed uphill, is it? It's tears down. That's not good. Oh, wow. That didn't open the secret room. Interesting. I could have sworn that could open secret rooms. Nice. This means our shop isn't greed. Fuck me. I might actually be able to afford to do that. That'll make up for so much I just missed. I think I have to. Oh, I have the ability to take that. I should have just fought it next to it. I think it will actually speed up my floor traversal so much. Of course, this means I'm not going to go to boss rush. Oh shit! Or I go to boss rush and I steal an item! This is going to be hilariously good. I do need to find my item rooms soon, though. Hopefully they're near one another, or at the very least near the shop. Because at the moment, I've explored a lot of this floor, and not a single item room. Never mind, I have had a single item room. What the fuck is wrong with me? How am I that dumb? I just picked up something from an item room. Oh, I've never seen an item room in my life, officer. Yeah, what's this? An item room? Oh, fuck. I don't need to worry about picking up everything. I don't need to worry about getting the majority of the value out of this thing. I have value. I can actually afford to give you all of the hearts that you need. So give me a good item. Yeah, that's damage up and it gives me my health back. <laughs> I'm real pleased with it. I'm more than willing to take damage to clear a room. Okay, he's just doing that to check the small rock. Honestly, pretty much nothing else mattered to me there. Aha, the other one. No. 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 We have the ability to reroll. We should reroll until we get something quite good. I don't even know what that one does yet. And. 
a fair few better things showed up in the time that uh, we unfortunately skipped over them. Yeah, I can steal something from Boss Rush and then I can just re-roll the floor. At least it wasn't a speed down. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Oh shit, you can have a bunch of keys as well. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Ability to open golden chests for free, especially considering I'm going to have like two more floors. It's nice. Little Brimstone is fucking destroying them. Another... Yeah, that's spun. That's spun for us. I was actually wondering how far we were from spawn, but I forgot that we picked up uh, the virus. I already got the deal with the devil, so I don't need to worry about that. Sure, I'll take the dry baby. All right. Well, here we go again. Now, these floors, we ought to be able to clear fast enough to ultimately just be able to take a bunch of value from and still get to hush. Especially, I want to visit shops. Because I would really like the ability to get some mapping here. No. Beautiful. He's fine, I'll take him. Not because I need them, but because... Reasons. I think I just saw a se uh, secret. Sorry, a um, tinted rock in the previous room. Yep. Boom. Evening, curse the darkness! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that slowed us down. Oh, no, wait, because I got spawned. I actually got speed up, uh, sped up. I thought spawn was a speed. What the fuck? Look at this! Too many black hearts. Sure. Yeah, that might as well happen. How many black cards do I even need? Good lord. Good lord. I'll tell you the answer. It's far fucking fewer than that. I'm not going to blow up the dude because I actually don't want the deal with the devil on this floor. Getting the deal with the devil on this floor would actually lower my chance to get the deal with the devil on the next floor. And obviously I've already seen the deal with the devil on this floor, so I don't want it. Didn't have enough speed, unfortunately. As long as I keep myself without HP, the Polaroid invincibility is going to be huge for me. It's good. Mapping. Mapping. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Ability to generate trinkets. Yeah, all right. That's not good, though. Restock? Wait, restock doesn't even help me here. Yeah. Um, feels like I'm walking on sunshine? The fuck kind of pill is that? Uh, I already have spawn, so we'll take tough love. Now I want more luck. Of course, I do have a little bit extra luck or... Oh, right, yeah, I have mapping. Uh, feels like I have a, a little extra luck already. In fact, I do have a little extra luck already, so... That would be why it feels like that. There was a lucky penny I picked up earlier. Plus, holding mom's box is giving me a little luck.
Okay. Nice kill, and I don't even want that. Nice, go down to the next floor. Beautiful. Uh, okay. It looks like the boss actually might be up in this direction. What the fuck? That's a boss very close to a spawn room. I don't believe it, but it does look like it right now. Okay... Trinkets I don't- Ah, uh, that one's actually gonna give me a little more damage. Yeah. Not much, but a little. Okay, good. This isn't the boss room. Everything is still in order with the universe. Hmm, okay. I do need more money. Because we have restock. Although I really don't need to be buying more things anyway, so. Maybe I should take that as a sign. Money? Fucking money. It's worth noting, these floors I'm still trying to get things. Whereas, when we get down to the womb, I'm actually just going to be going straight for where I know the exits are. I'll take Rib of Greed at the moment, so that when I get to my shop, it's not, uh, Greed in there. Increase my deal with the Devil Chance. It's really good. There's actually a little money in here. Nice. Now I'll go back and take piggy bank as well. Nah, eh, don't need ladder. Alright. It's... Is this... Wait, am I also gonna get the... Negative now? Yep, alright, let's get the negative. Succubus? Yes! Yes, please, in fact. Yes, please, and thank you, in fact. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I actually really need the map right now. I'm gonna go check that card just in case it's Emperor. It's Emperor. I can't fucking believe my luck. Oh no, I didn't want the HP! Take the HP away. Thank you. Take that too. Because <laughs> it's sin up, so it should actually give us some extra damage as a result of the uh, Black Feather. Black feather, bam ba lam, whoa, black feather, bam ba lam. Oh, I didn't even see them there. Uh Yeah, this is unlikely. I'm gonna go out this way. I still have zero guppy items, which I feel a little bad about. That's a lucky penny right there. I do want to be increasing my luck. I, I really want to go back to that room. I have time for this room. Another luck up. That's... 
the lock up is uh, it's going to slightly increase the amount of serpent's kiss triggers, but it's going to severely increase the amount of teeth. That was uh, that was dumb. Well, now I'm definitely going to have a health up, right? Okay, I'm paralyzed by indecision right now. I just need to make a decision and go with it. So I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to take this, which means if I get the deal with the devil after the, uh, the fight, I know it's only a third chance, but if I do get the deal with the devil, in fact, I can actually modify my chance a little. So let's do that. That's going to increase my deal with the devil chance. So now we're almost at 50-50 to get a deal with the devil. If I do get a deal with the devil, I'm going to be able to trade away my health, hopefully. That was way worse. Why did I... That was really dumb. <laughs> Just... Trying to make a good decision. Screwing it up. SMDH. Shaking my damn head. Oh ho ho, 1.5 times damage multiplier, and vibrant bulb for a bunch of extra damage. This is good. This is good. This is a build that can definitely kill Delirium. There's the deal with the devil. Uddy Buddy. Uddy Buddy has proven himself very recently. I want you to know, Uddy Buddy and I are friends. What did you think I was going to say? I can't believe it. I actually can't fucking believe it. Wafer again. Double. What are you doing, game? Black candle. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Okay. Well, the game has been over for a while, and now the game knows it too. I'm gonna go back and purchase some more shit. Take away the HP I didn't want to have, sure. The only better thing I could get right now would be cancer. All right, I can just hide behind uh, Dry Baby. Forgot that. Actually picked up Dry Baby at a really opportune time. I'm just gonna tab out and check my tweets. This is a this is a fun one right now. It's a good one. And we're gonna get Delirium done. I really would not have expected my first run with Maggie uh, to be the successful one. Apparently her speed up makes all the difference. Who'd have known? <laughs> Holy shit. This run has been blessed. I actually can just hide behind Dry Baby. He's absorbing all of the shots and then dealing damage for me. Okay, I have to stop hiding, unfortunately, because if the enemy is under me, I still end up taking damage. And then I managed to get rid of my health anyway on this floor. This motherfucker hasn't even summoned flies. I haven't even been able to show off the fact that I'm going to get back to full health as soon as he shows off flies.
Summon your flies, damn it! No, apparently no flies. None whatsoever. What a prick. Alright, down to the next floor. Down to the next floor. Alright, down to the next floor. Down to the next floor. Excuse me? Okay. I was about to give up. <sighs> yeah, let's go north. Just gonna collect a bunch of health before I go to the fight, just in case. I don't need the extra damage from the Vibrant Bulb right now. So I'm gonna try and get Cancer. Because my understanding is Delirium doesn't actually have boss armor. Which is gonna make fighting Delirium with, you know, crazy damage and crazy tier rate just hilariously fun. Okay. Explosive diarrhea. Okay, that's karma. That's not particularly helpful. I'll take Bob's curse. Thank you very much. What the fuck killed him? You can get Guppy's paw from that? Oh, okay, so this, this pulls from all different pools. Alright, by section one, by section two. This fight's a little rough. I need to make this fight easier. See, I took damage. How was I supposed to avoid that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just not go that way, because I don't want to have to swap trinkets a billion times. Thank you for the extra heart. I think I might actually be killing the enemies too quickly in order to get their... Uh, their them poisoned. God, if there was a shop on this floor. Oh. Oh. Bye, Zig. I'll take the range up. That's actually going to be pretty helpful. Thank you, game. Clears one more room, comes back and uses that, comes back and uses that, comes back and uses that. None of those are effective, thank you very much. Well, I mean, they might be effective, they're just not what I want. Alright, let's get Guppy's head from one of the golden chests on the floor. And then nine lives from one of the fights. Let's become Guppy as well, because fuck it, why not? That might as well just happen. Nope. Battery charges? Hey, single battery charge. Yeah, bouncy. Rubber cement occasionally on your shots is it's quite good, to be entirely honest, but... It's not better than the two damage ups that I have. Huh. Don't really want that one though. Thank you for the extra black heart, buddy. Eh, 
Sure. Bomb bag. Hilarious. Ah, fuck. We got delirium. Care to come down here, delirium? Fight me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just wait until you get into your Larry Jr. formation. Woo. You're gonna hate life. Is he not gonna go into the Larry Jr. formation? You have to become Larry Jr. I need to be able to kill you literally instantaneously. Or have they fixed that finally? Oh. Now that's more of a hollow formation. But it still took way more damage in the hollow formation than it's taken in any other formation. Bye, Delirium. Ooh, Eucharist unlocked. Seeing the achievement for it, Eucharist has appeared in the basement. My understanding of Eucharist is that it's uh, the angel version of Goathead, so that's actually really interesting. But apparently I have heard a little uh, a little buzz, a little hum-hum, that you can't find it without already being in the angel room, so it becomes far less viable. Whereas you can find Goathead in you know, curse rooms, item rooms, in fact. Uh, red chests, golden chests, I think it's in all of those, in fact. Anyhow, for the moment, let me just say that my name is in Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding Wise of Birth Plus. That has been Maggie beating Delirium. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we will see you next time.